Have you guys ever had a Christmas meal or really any holiday meal that's left you feeling guilty because of how fattening the meal was? After about 20 Christmas cookies, tons of chocolate, and two or sometimes three portions of dinner, I certainly have. But in this video, I wanted to use it as an opportunity to break down the science of how much fat you'd truly gain in 24 hours of overeating at something like a holiday event, or in this case, something like a Christmas dinner. And I also quickly want to touch on how long will it take to burn off all of those excess calories that we consume. More on that later, so let's clock in, grab our calculator, and let's figure out how much fat are we going to gain from this holiday meal. The ending will surprise you. First and foremost, we have to look at the factors that influence how much fat will you actually be able to gain in just a 24-hour period. Some of the factors that impact your weight gain are things like your NEAT, which we'll discuss later in the video, so just hold tight on that one, your TDEE, or your total daily energy expenditure, your your starting or current body composition. For example, lean folks tend to have lower amounts of adipocytes versus obese folks. And likely as a result of that, leaner folks tend to gain less fat in the exact same amount of calories consumed than their obese counterparts. Another thing that'll heavily impact how much you are storing as fat will be how glycogen depleted are you. Glycogen is just a stored form of carbohydrates. So our bodies utilize glycogen or carbohydrates for exercise. So if if you are depleted, meaning you've had a great big workout beforehand, obviously your body is going to be working hard at replenishing those glycogen stores. So if you had a big workout prior to, this will definitely be impacting how much you will store, but we won't really be talking about that too much in today's video because that'll really be case dependent. And the last thing that we have supported evidence on that's going to be a factor in how much weight you will be gaining, specifically as fat, is the macro composition of the food. We know that when served an equal surplus of calories in both fats and carbohydrates, the carbohydrate group actually only utilized about 10% of the total calories to be stored as fat. Meanwhile, in the fat group, they were more inclined to store over 60% of the total surplus of calories that they were in as fat. Now, because it's Christmas and by the way, Merry Christmas, let's utilize that as a perfect example because people tend to overeat on Christmas day. First, have to figure out how many calories does the average person consume on Christmas. And from what I've been able to gather online, that's about 5,373 calories. Now, mind you, that's across the entirety of the day. So we're just going to use that 24 hour period as our example. If we look at the average male individual who is considerably smaller than me, we know that they should be consuming around 2,500 500 calories per day, meaning that this consumption on Christmas Day will actually set them up for a 2,873 calorie surplus above what they're normally consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're going to use the standardized measurement of 3,500 calories is a pound of fat for moving forward. And based on that measurement, you would think that that would mean that they would gain 0.82 pounds of fat in a day. Or for everyone outside of North America, that is around 370 grams or 0.37 kilos. But it's not that simple and I'll explain why. Because when you consume food, it actually burns calories. Some of you might have noticed that when you consume a large meal, like on a Christmas day or something like that, that you actually start to feel warmer and you tend to start stripping off layers as you eat. And there's a reason for that. That's because there is something called the thermic effect of food. The thermic effect of food is the the amount of energy that is required to digest, absorb, and metabolize all of the food that you've consumed. Meaning that as you increase the amount of food you're consuming, it also will increase the amount of calories you're burning in the form of heat in order to break this food down. It's kind of like a fireplace. If you add more wood, it will grow the size of the fire and thus increase the heat in the room. So for the same reason, if you increase the amount of calories you're consuming, the amount of calories you burn to break down those extra calories goes up. But by how much does it go up? I'll tell you. If we use the assumption that the excess calories that we are consuming are in the macro breakdown of 20% protein, 40% carbohydrates, and 40% fats, we can average out the weight of those thermic effects of food to be about 19% in total. So using the average thermic effect of food of 19% for our excess calories, that would mean out of the 2,873 excess calories we've consumed, we would lose about 545 calories calories worth from just heat, meaning now we're only left with 2,327 calories and some change. Okay, so we're getting better because now that's only 0.67 pounds or 303 grams. That's actually not that bad, but it doesn't end there. Remember that thing that we touched on at the beginning of the video, the NEAT? Yeah. 
or non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is the amount of energy you spend doing things like me talking with my hands right now, talking, chewing, walking around aimlessly, things that are anything that is gonna be burning calories that is not done during activity. Now, for context, you would think that if you exercise very hard, that that's gonna play a large role in how many calories you burn throughout the day. But actually, when we look at your total daily energy expenditure, relatively speaking, your exercise is actually only gonna make up between eight to 10% percent of your total daily energy expenditure. Meanwhile, your NEAT or your non-exercise activity thermogenesis is going to make up almost double that. Doesn't matter how hard you think you're working out. It's going to be almost double. Now, if we use the median from this study right here, that'll put us at around a 200 calorie per 1000 calories consumed increase in our total NEAT, meaning that we'll probably be fidgeting a little bit more. We'll probably be talking a little bit more. And given the fact that in this context, we're at a family dinner, we're probably going to be yelling. We're probably going to be singing. We're probably going to be doing a whole host of different things that is going to increase our NEAT? That seems like a fairly reasonable assumption. So if we assume that an increase in 200 calories will be lost per thousand calories consumed by our NEAT, that would leave us with a loss of an additional 574.6 calories in total. So between the thermic effect of food and our increase in calories lost from our NEAT, we're now only in a surplus of 1,752 calories. But it actually doesn't end there because something we talked about earlier earlier in the video is that the macro breakdown of the food plays a massive role in how much will be absorbed and stored as fat. In fact, most of the carbs and protein that we consume are not actually going to be able to store as fat. Meanwhile, the fats we consume will. So based on all of that and our current macro breakdown example, let's assume that 50% of the total calories that we've consumed will be able to store as fat. Meaning that if we take our just over 1700 calories in excess that we're at now and divide that by 50%, that's going to leave us with only 876.3 calories in excess that will be put towards storing as fat in our body. That sounds like a lot, but when you break it down in a pound format, that puts us at a quarter of a pound gained or roughly 113 grams of pure fat stored when we eat over double our allotted calorie intake for the day. And that's without the assumption that we've had a large workout beforehand and we're glycogen depleted. Meaning the next time you get yourself in a situation where you're going to have a yummy meal and it's going to probably put you over a solid amount of calories, you should probably not sweat it because even in a situation where you're eating double the amount of calories allotted for you on a daily basis, you are only going to gain about a quarter pound of fat. And to put it in perspective for you, if you did a modest calorie deficit of 200 calories, which most people wouldn't even notice, that would only take you four days to lose all of that weight back. And if you did a slightly more aggressive 500 calories, which you would definitely notice, you'd lose it in two days. So I guess what I want to say to end this video off is don't take the opportunity away from the holidays and start skipping out on memories that you could make with the people you love and the foods you love all just because you feel a little bit insecure in your body at one space and time. And I understand we will feel insecure all the time. I know I do, but use these times to build memories. You have plenty of time and hopefully this mathematical and highly scientific video will help you to understand that you are doing nowhere near the amount of damage that you thought you were doing on your body. So I hope you guys will be kind to yourselves today. And I also hope that if you enjoyed this video, Video, make sure you guys hit that like subscribe and the notification bell leave a comment if you can all of those things will help grow my channel and it would absolutely mean the world to me for you to take the time to do that hope you guys have a happy holidays merry christmas and i will see you guys in the next one